Peace, I'm Adriana from Let's Make It Academy and welcome back. And if this is the first time that you found one of my videos or my channel, especially welcome. In this tutorial today, I'm going to show you how to make these adorable pen holders. And I've designed them to slip right on to your binder, folder, notebook, whatever it is that you use. And I like them because it keeps everything together. And what's really cute about them is you get to just, you know, personalize them, add a little extra details, you know, things you don't need in life, but we like to do because it's just cute. So I hope you find this just as easy and convenient to use and make just like I do. So I'm not going to say to you, download that pattern and let's go because there is no pattern. That's how easy it is. But I am going to say to you, come on, let's go. Let's make it. Let's get started. So you'll need a fabric rectangle cut out at 13 and a half inches wide by five inches high. And then you'll need ribbon coordinating if you wish, totally up to you, and a small piece of elastic. This is about two and a half inches uh, in length. It could be two or three inches. It depends what uh, you're putting your pen holder on, a binder, a smaller, smaller book. It's totally up to you. And you'll notice they're about the same width. They don't have to be exact, so don't even worry if yours isn't. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to fold your fabric rectangle in half with right sides of the fabric touching and you're going to sew sort of like a long pouch. So you're going to close off this end and leave an opening here. I'll be sewing about a quarter of an inch seam allowance and with a stitch length of two and a half. pivot when you get to the corner. And back stitch on the ends. Once it's sewn, you're going to turn it right side out. And I did trim and actually I do I'll do it a bit better. Uh, I did trim the corner and you're going to turn it right side out. However, you know how to best turn this right side out. You go for it. I like to use my wonderful chopstick, the best tool that helps me right side out, what you're going to do is give it a press with your iron, making sure that your seam is pushed out to the most it can be, if that makes any sense. So make sure that the seam is out towards the edge and give it a good press. Now, when you get to the open ends, after you give it a quick little press, you're going to want to turn that in so that the fraying edges won't happen and they'll be in there. And then what you'll do is give it a press so they stay put. Then you'll get your ribbon and you'll cut off a few inches. I like to start with a straight edge. Two pieces of ribbon at about eight and a half inches in length. We may end up trimming it as we add it to the elastic, but it's totally fine for now. So you'll take one of your ribbons and you're gonna slip it into the open end and I'm gonna pin it in place and I'm just gonna sew right across here just to hold this ribbon in place. Close the open ends with the ribbon in it. You're going to fold this closed and pin it. I'm actually going to use my clips for this and I'm going to clip it if I can actually hold the clips. <laughs> I'm going to clip it in place and I'm going to place the other ribbon on the other end and then I'm going to do my sewing. So this other ribbon is going to go right here. So that's going to be my back. And for that, you can hold it in place or you can use a straight pin, your call. And now what you're going to do on the sewing machine is this is your open end and you're going to sew from here. You're going to do a back stitch and you're going to come down, pivot, turn again and pivot and up and back stitch. So you have your little pocket. I'm actually going to sew using a little bit less than a quarter of an inch seam allowance, or I should say, I'm going to stay pretty close to the edge. Back stitch on the end here. 
because this is going to take a lot of pressure from putting your pads and pencils in. And you're going to pivot on the ends. And this is where I always need to make sure that my ribbon lays flat. Especially if it's satin, it tends to move a lot. And then pivot. on the end. This pen holder is coming together and almost done. We just have to add the elastic. But right now, before I do that, I wanted to add a piece of decorative uh, vintage lace to the top. You could have even added this before you folded the pocket pocket together so it was sandwiched in between. There's really no wrong or right way of doing it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hand sew this on and just make it go finish off on the back because this back is just going to lay on the book. You're not going to really see the back. So I'm going to cut off a piece and get this started. So I'm just doing a basic blanket stitch to keep this lace up on top. You can machine sew it, it's totally up to you, but I do like that handmade look uh, on my products that I make, so I'm gonna just continue hand sewing it. The top lace, I decided to add a little bit more in the bottom and I like this look. I felt like I needed something in the center, but I really couldn't find what, so I'm gonna leave it like this, simple and plain. But you know, you can add and hot glue other things to the center. You can uh, do pearls, beads, rhinestones, whatever it is that you like to make your uh, pencil holder or pen holder a bit more interesting if you'd like. The next step is to sew the elastic on. And this is the part that you're gonna do uh, without really measuring, but by eye. So I know that I'm going to be using this pen holder for my uh, disc bound notebook right here on this hard cover. So what I'm gonna do is just lay it here and bring the ribbon around. And I know obviously my Rib my ribbon, I mean my elastic is going to go right here, but you need your elastic to stretch. You need to sew it on where you're creating a stretch in the elastic. If the elastic doesn't stretch, this will not hold tight onto your book or planner or wherever it is that you're going to place it. So seeing that, what I'm going to do is fold this over and know that I'm going to make my first stitch right here. I'm literally going to bring this to the machine. I won't even bring you over because it's so easy. And I'm going to make a stitch running down and I'm going to cover it again. So it's nice and strong. So that's my first stitch. Completed that sewing. And you can see that this end is done. So here's what I'll do. I'll just flip it over this way to show you how to do the other end. So I'm going to work on the front, but it really doesn't matter. So now what I need to know is that I have to stretch this. And this will attach at about here, but I want a little bit more stretch so that it holds tight. So I'm gonna fold this over in the same direction as that one. And I'm gonna pull tight, and I'm gonna know that it attaches right here. How easy was that? And now I'm gonna go back to my machine and I'm gonna stitch and cover it again. So I'm gonna stitch front and then back stitch so I cover it, because this does take a lot of uh, pressure. Oh, this. I go forward and then I leave it right where it is and I use my reverse. And then you know what? I'm gonna cover it one more time and then back stitch. So three stitches right over, I think is strong enough for this hold. I had it trimmed with my shears, uh, the leftover ribbon and the elastic. And guys and girls, just like that, this pen holder is complete. How easy was that for this adorable stationary piece? See that? It's nice and tight. I love this. And now you can slip your pens in. Let me just slip this one because this is the one I have on hand. Adorable. And it's great. And you know, I know that pencils are a bit longer. That's why I do leave some space here to get some new pencils in there. And this is 
awesome and cute. Did I say that already? Anyway, thank you again for being here and for watching this tutorial. And I do hope you subscribe. Bye.